Is Cody Rhodes leaving the WWE? That's coming up in just a minute. Our first story of today's video. Guys, NXT making a major announcement. Dragon Lee came from AAA to WWE NXT. Already off to a great start. A lot of people seem to agree that he has some great presentation. Now WWE made an announcement today on social media that Carmelo Hayes will need a new challenger. And the way that they're going to do it is a fatal four-way match taking place this upcoming episode of NXT. And Dragon Lee is the first competitor in the NXT Championship match. Now, this is great news, but there's also a little bit more that I want to discuss here. Not only is WWE putting Dragon Lee in these big-time matchups, but it seems like WWE is very keen on keeping the Dragon Lee name, which, by the way, I think that was my big concern. I think that was a lot of wrestling fans' concern, and it appears that's actually not going to be an issue, which is a nice change of tune because typically WWE has these people coming in, and then they change their names. But I think if you're the WWE and you really want somebody to be successful, don't change their name unless it's really necessary. And Dragon Lee is one of those guys where I just don't think it would be necessary. He's already got the look. He's got the signature down. Why change that? So it's cool. He's getting a push. But also, what is going to happen here? Is he going to ultimately win this Fatal 4-Way and compete against Carmelo Hayes? Only to mean absolutely nothing if he loses. They need to set up a program here. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Whoever's in this match, whatever happens, I think it should lead to Dragon Lee losing the match, but starting a new singles program with somebody that he can go over, and that will be very entertaining to watch. Guys, Kurt Angle says that WWE isn't making new stars, and honestly, this is hard to disagree with. Uh, Kurt Angle believes that Roman Reigns should have put over Cody Rhodes to make him a megastar at WrestleMania 39. And in certain ways, uh, you know, with what he's saying, I understand where he's coming from, but I still agree that Cody Rhodes should have lost. Kurt Angle said on his podcast uh, that he believes Roman Reigns should have put over the American Nightmare. He says, I'm not going to beat up on Roman Reigns because he is the man he deserves to be. We're in a time now where if you're champion for three years, that's a little long. It's just too long because we're not in territories anymore. When you were in the territories, you weren't on TV every week. So fans had to come see you at the arenas and you'd only be in that city one day a week. So they only saw wrestling one day a week back then when they were champion for six to eight years. Now Roman Reigns has gone on. It looks like he's going to have to hold the title for another few years. The thing is, he's on TV every week, which is actually not true. Sometimes twice a week. Also, not always true. And then, you know, a pay-per-view once in, once every month. And by the way, that is also not true. Roman Reigns is missing Backlash, for example. Um, he also says... Um, I don't believe the ratings are going to go down, but I do believe some people are going to lose interest because they're not making other wrestlers. This I agree with. He says, you know, Roman has an opportunity to make a wrestler. He could have made Cody into a megastar, which Cody is already a star, but he would have been a megastar if he won at WrestleMania. I still don't believe Cody should have won. Um, that's just my own opinion. Obviously, everybody's going to disagree with that, but I do believe that WWE doesn't create stars um, or they haven't been creating stars. They have a whole bunch of people who are ready for that big role. But to be honest with you, I feel like WWE right now is kind of at a standstill. Uh, if you guys watch my live reviews of NXT, you know that I do believe there are quite a few guys who are ready to be the guy in WWE. But I think it's really important that WWE understands that you actually have to build people up and you have to get people going through the mid card. And that was something that WWE has done relatively great with somebody like Gunther, for example. Um, but, you know, LA Knight is another mid card guy who could be a top star. He doesn't have to be the guy in WWE, but he could be a top star. But you don't put him on WrestleMania, that's a big miss. And uh, as time goes on, I think WWE really has to get better with that. You, you're bringing in guys like Bronson Reed or Karrion Cross. My big criticism is, what are you going to do with them that actually puts them at the next level? Having them on TV is great, and I understand that everybody has a role. It's kind of like a Hollywood movie. But you got to do something with them uh, significantly to make stars. And I think WWE definitely struggles in this area. However, WWE also has a new show that's coming according to a new trademark uh, on Wednesday, the fifth, basically WWE had applied for a trademark uh, of WWE superstars of tomorrow. Now, the thing is the trademark is actually intended to be used for a show. Uh, according to the description of the trademark filing, WWE superstars of tomorrow trademark registration is intended to cover the categories of entertainment services, namely a show about professional wrestling entertainment services, namely the production and exhibition of professional wrestling events, rendered through broadcast media, including television and distributed via various platforms across multiple forms of transmission media, providing wrestling news and information through broadcast media, including television and distributed via various platforms across multiple forms of transmission media. Go on and on and on. We know that WWE 
has a whole bunch of shows. And we did talk about uh, WWE having a new show with John Cena. My question here is, is this going to be the show that John Cena is executive producing? We spoke about that in a previous video. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this now is because WWE having more content is really, really good. Just as I've been saying about AEW doing all access, I have no issue with WWE doing new shows, whether it's analysis, whether it's a highlight show, whether it's documentary style, whether it's a reality show based. I think we need to see more of this in wrestling. So it's cool to see that WWE is doing it. It's cool to see that WWE has locked down a new trademark. But also at the same time, too, I want to see AEW do it. I want to see Impact do it. And I just think it's really good. I think it's really good to give your audience something different still while utilizing the talent that you have signed to your company and everything like that. And, and for me, I think this is a big win for WWE. Um, and, and, you know, I just want to make it very clear, too. If this is the John Cena show on Roku that, that they're working on, um, you know, WWE obviously has a deal with A&E and all of these other companies. I'm just curious what this means for John Cena and his involvement in WWE. Even if he does or doesn't wrestle, how much involvement will he have in WWE? And I think if John Cena is not wrestling for the WWE, we will still see John Cena involved in big ways like this. And this actually leads us to our final story of the day. And guys, that is Cody Rhodes. And this is a very interesting story. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. I really don't know what to make of this, but I'm going to show you guys my screen because Cody Rhodes put a post out on social media and uh, it's very interesting. So Cody Rhodes goes on Instagram and he posted this a long week. I know last Sunday was not the result I'd hoped for. And I know many fans were disappointed as well. I make no excuses. I lost. I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you how much I enjoyed the ride until Sunday night. And furthermore, Monday night, he then goes on to thank a whole bunch of people like his wife, WWE, LA. And then of course he goes into thanking Bruce and Kevin Dunn and all of these other great people who work backstage with WWE. And then he also talks uh, about make a wish America. Then he goes on to say, um, he also wanted to thank Nick Khan for taking care of his family. Um, and then he says, lastly, the almost 200,000 fans that attended the weekend overall unwavering and motivating. I want to be your champion this Monday. I hope to speak about the future with WWE and what may be next for me at USA Network. So this right here is coming from Cody Rhodes, and it just seems like there's a major tease. Is he leaving WWE? I am getting so many people asking me about if Cody Rhodes is leaving the WWE. Now, technically, when Cody joined the WWE, the reports indicated that he signed a multi-year deal with the WWE. Now, how factual is that? Uh, I would assume that's more than likely the case. But with Cody Rhodes talking about his future after everything that just went down with Brock Lesnar, you know, it could sound like WWE's got a storyline in the works here. And if it's not a storyline, what happens next with Cody? That would be very interesting considering he's leaving AEW. He left AEW, excuse me. So in my opinion, Cody leaving WWE would not make sense at all in this case. Obviously, Cody Rhodes is definitely generating conversation here with social media, but we'll see how everything unfolds. Let me know what you guys think down below.